Hey everyone, welcome to Storyteller's Handbook and today I'm going to be unboxing my new book, The Refining. self-publishing my novel The Refining and here it is we are going to be unboxing it today this is a proof copy for those who don't know what a proof copy of a book is is basically the first copy that the author orders so that they can see if the book is right if the formatting um, looks good if the cover is set properly if the margins are the right size if the text is the right size font all of those things are what we check for a proof copy. Now, a proof copy is only for the author. It's never supposed to be shown to the public. I'm obviously gonna show it to you, but uh, it is not for circulation. So I've never seen my book in its physical form. Before I do this, and I hate when people do this, they're like, this is what you all came for. But let me just digress. I'm gonna digress really quick. There are multiple times during this process where I was ready to quit and throw the whole thing in the garbage and forget it all, what's gonna happen. Ordering this proof was like the straw that almost broke the camel's back. I was originally going to release my book in August and I had to push the release date back because my initial cover designer, which promised me a cover in two weeks took five weeks and still didn't provide me with an adequate cover. So I had to push my, my publication date back to September 21st. I got a new cover designer. I loved the cover. I've gotten great reviews on the cover so far. Comment below on whether you love the cover or not. If you've never seen it, you're about to see it now. I had already advertised my new release date, September 21st, here we come. I get on Amazon and it says, we do not ship to you. Time I had about a month um, to go before before September 21st. So I said, okay, I'm gonna get this in less than a week, a week max, and then I will be able to change any, make any changes, and then the book will be good. It, they said, we do not ship to you. You can imagine your distributor telling you, you can sell whatever you've made to everyone else, but we're not gonna let you see it before everyone else does. Not possible. I'm not gonna sell my book to people and I know what it looks like. I will do another video on the three times where I almost gave up. And this was actually not one of those three. This was number four where I was like, I can't come this far to stop. Um, and then I get hit with this. I did research, so I had to ship this, pay Amazon for shipping to get this package to a third party company in California. I researched a bunch, but the one I used is Ship It Too. Now, I had to pay for the proof copy, which was approximately six and a half US dollars. Then I had to pay for um, Amazon to ship it to my third party company in California. That cost me approximately, approximately eight and a half US dollars. Then the company in California charged me 25 US dollars to ship it to me. And I thought that was it. Then I got a call from Canada Post today that they have my package. I only have to pay eight and a half dollars to pick it up from them. That's a total of $42 of shipping for a six and a half dollar book that I wrote. And I don't even know what it's gonna look like in here. It could be messed up, it could be wrong, it could be horrible. And instead of it taking me a week or less, it took three weeks. Mind you, Ship It Too was super fast. I definitely recommend them. They said max three weeks, and I think it got here in two. Um, so that's a week for it to get to Ship It Too, and then two weeks to get to me. And this is all why I had to push back my release date once again to November 4th. That's it, I'm not moving it. November 4th, you're getting this book no matter what. Here we go, let's open this bad boy. I'm so excited. I can't open it. Doing an unboxing, I probably should have bought some, brought some scissors. I got the scissors. Okay, here we go. Right. Ah, moment of truth. Oh my gosh, I'm like better. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. Amazon um, offers this, uh, when you order a paperback, it offers it 
in gloss or matte. Like for me, I can choose if I want people to buy it in gloss or matte. You don't get that choice. I make the choice for you. So I ordered the gloss and because I've heard that the matte finish leaves fingerprints and I'm touching this and I'm not seeing any fingerprints. So this is great. It's so big. Oh my gosh. It's like, did I write all this? I swear I didn't pre plagiarize. So mine. There's the spine. I love the spine. It's got that light paint look that she's got. And now um, what all of our authors absolutely love about Amazon proofs is this ugly strip that they put right there, which says not for resale. Yeah, duh. We don't want anyone to ever see this book, Amazon. That's not, that goes without saying. Um, gross, horrible, but nonetheless, I don't care. She's still beautiful. So now let's look inside. Let's see how inside looks. So the first page is just a repeat. So here's the um, copyright page, um, which looks good. Um, there is the first part. The book has seven parts and in each part there's multiple chapters but the parts um, uh, separate a section of time. So anyway, so that's what the part page looks like. I am going to, I think I'm going to redo this formatting. And this is the chapter. This is chapter number one. Krissa, our alpha point of view main character. Um, this is definitely going to change. I have something super exciting, super exciting for the chapter headings. Really, really excited for everyone to see it. So it didn't make it into the proof copy, but I am excited for it to be in the final copy. I'm just looking at the margins. Um, I think they look pretty good. I feel like the font might be a bit big. I don't know. It looks a bit big to me. I can't decide. Let's look at Gone Girl. Let's see how Gone Girl looks. Oh, that's tiny. That's too tiny for me. I'll just show you a comparison. I love Gone Girl, by the way. Um, yeah, that's, I think this is too small. Um, let's look at Pride and Prejudice, one of my favorites. How does Pride and Prejudice look? All so smaller. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what I think. What do you think? I'm open to all of your suggestions. Leave them in the comments below. And I feel like maybe the top might be, it feels a bit uneven. So a few things to change, but overall I am happy with the cover quality. The paper's a good quality. I'm happy with the shine. I'm happy how it looks. This is great. Um, I actually didn't remember how many pages we're sitting at, but we are sitting at, yeah, um, just under 400 pages, 400 pages. And I feel like it's a bit, it's a bit thick. And I think it's because the font's a bit big. If I change the font and make the font smaller and then make it less pages, I have to go back and redo the cover because now the spine will be too wide. So I really have to think about what I want to do. This is it. This is my book. I'm holding it in my hands for the first time and I'm so excited for you all to get a copy of your own. That's it for my unboxing of The Refining. The Refining comes out November 4th. Don't forget to get your copy. And uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button and ring that bell so you get notified when I come up with new videos every single week. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought about all the aspects of the book. If you have questions about the self-publishing process, uh, I'm happy to answer all of your questions. Thanks everyone. See you next time.